All right, people, what's up? This is your boy. You know what I'm saying? This is your boy, you know, traveling T on the move. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, doing my thing, man. And it's like crazy out here. It's, it's getting crazier and crazier to me. Now, I just, I just watched a video about what this dude, in Russia, in Russia. He said, we're gonna, we're gonna go to different gas stations in, 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 in the country, you know, whatever, in, in the town, and show the gas prices. So he did that, he went around, did the gas station thing. You know, they on the liter system, we on the gallon system, he, you know, he did the math and all of this. And uh, I gotta figure that out, like they say how you just post other videos to your YouTube channel and stuff like that. Cause uh man, they got some stuff out here that uh I think need to be seen, man. It's, it's crazy in America. Gas is going up crazy. It's higher than it ever been in Arizona. It's close to five dollars now. I thought I'd never see that day come. I mean, I you know, I was like everybody else too a little bit. A little spoiled just, you know, put gas in my car, driving around like it was the business, like it was the thing to do, you know. And it wasn't, man. It's crazy, yo. So he did the math in Russia. And they, they, they gas is like, some places a dollar, this and that. And it ain't no 85 cheap, cheap little gas. It's like mid-grade and premium gas over there. And it's only like $2, man. Two dollars. Yeah, I got my arms a little folded. It's a little chilly tonight in Arizona. And gas is like two dollars, man. You know, two. I ain't seen none was like more than two dollars. No two ninety nine or nothing. It was like low in the mid twos. You know, like two forty some or two o one, and it was crazy. Anyway. I posted it to my Facebook page. I'm going to see if I can find that video on YouTube and post it to my channel. It's crazy, yo. You know what I'm saying? So this your boy out here. I'm just chilling, doing my thing, you know, a little short video. And uh, like I said, I don't, I don't do it for the views. I guess that's what everybody supposedly is supposed to be doing it for, what have you. But listen, man, America is going down. You know what I'm saying? God bless the people of Ukraine and all that. The way they treating black people over there, I don't appreciate it. I'm not liking it, but I'm still pray for them, you know, that they don't get all blowed up and shit. This, this dude just don't be blowing up towns and, you know, killing innocent people, which is too late. He already doing it. So, it's crazy, man, you know. And I was on my live talking about how every time things go wrong, in some other part of the world, it's like America pays the price. Gas prices go up, the food prices go up, the stock market drops. It's, it's like all kind of foolishness, man. It's just craziness out here, you know? And I'm not the guy, I wasn't chosen to be that guy. It's, you know, uh, you know, eloquent speaker and all of that, you know what I'm saying? I just do little videos here and there, you know what I'm saying? And try to make the people think. If I inspire you, good, but gotta think, man. What's really going on, man? Because basically, all they doing is keeping poor people in the trap, man, keeping their foot on our necks. America's the pimp, and we the hoes, man. And they keeping us in line with all these gas prices and this and that. People can't even live halfway decent, comfortable lives, because you can't tell me that you're living a comfortable life and you got a house full of people, you get off work, you can't even really lay down and relax because there's always something going on because you got your, your your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, you got their kids, and it's always something going on, so it's hard to relax, man, in a situation like that, you know what I mean? So, and like I said, I talk to people, you know what I mean, and get the try to get what's really going on, you know, keep my keep my hand on the pulse of America, you know what I'm saying, and like 
California is hard. Everybody you talk to in California got more than one job, pretty basically. Everybody I talk to got more than one job. So, you know, it, it, it's crazy, man. And like I say, you know, they, they, they just keeping the poor people poor, man. And it ain't just blacks, it's whites, everybody, man, black, white, Mexican, I don't care who you are. If you ain't if you ain't running things and you ain't got mad real estate investments or whatever, you ain't got a you know a pretty good stash, then you just like everybody else, man. You trying to get by and trying to make it, and they making it harder and harder every day, every day, man. And it's like okay, you know, it's like I say all the time, when when things are not going right. In, in these countries that I've seen around the world, and they used to have it on the news all the time. They stopped posting that. I, I don't think they wanted to give America too many ideas. When they when they want to get rid of one of them dictators and shit, what do they do? People take to the street and they march and they stay out there and they help each other, they feed each other, they do all that good stuff. But like I said, in America, that ain't gonna never happen. Because cause, cause Americans are just too greedy and too selfish, and they ain't trying to help nobody. It's me, 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 me. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's crazy, man. But, uh, hey, I don't know, man. I think America, their time is coming. I don't know if I'll be around to see it, but it's coming, man. It's coming. And they're going to start rounding folks up. Or there's going to be some kind of civil war here or something, man. Because it's crazy how these oil companies and these corporations is just running. They running the people into the ground, man. Because these jobs you get now for $15 an hour and stuff like that. You ask these people at Amazon and all these other big corporations, you know, is, is it a regular nine to five? Nah, you doing 10, 12 hour shifts, yo. And if you don't really get it, you just paying more taxes till your check gonna be nothing. Cause I, I hated it. I hated it when they came in with the bi-weekly thing. Instead of getting paid every week, they said, nah, we got a trick for him. He gonna pay him every two weeks, get more taxes, get more of their money. Sure no, that's what they did. That's what they did. So, you know, I I don't know, man. I, I I just I just hope one day that Americans wake up, stop being so damn selfish, and we come together like some of these other poor countries. Is is that what it's gonna take for us not to be able to afford a loaf of bread? Cause cause now shit, you got Hawaii and Alaska where. Before all of this stuff jumped off, shit, a gallon of milk was costing shit ten dollars. Water, you know, stuff like that, man. Shit was real expensive, and uh, I can only imagine now, especially with all the, the, you know, the trucks and the ships and all of that slowing the way down. It's even harder for them to get stuff over there. So I'm telling you, man. America, man, y'all better wake up and start figuring out for all y'all voting people. Y'all better start really paying attention to who y'all voting for because these people are devils, yo. Look at all them old dudes up, Mitch McConnell and all these cats, man. He's been in Congress and all this for 99 years. You can't tell me people are voting for these dudes over and over and over and over unless they just old and see now and don't even know what they really doing. It's ridiculous. Anyway, you know, anyway, yeah, I, I had people creeping around outside my van. I, I don't be studying that. I pay attention, you know. So, listen. I'm going to leave it there, man. Short and sweet, you know what I'm saying? Stay woke, man. You know what I mean?
because it's getting real hectic out here.